Hey beautiful people, it's Tim Lee. Welcome to my channel and another Draw Too Much Sketch lesson. In today's video, uh, I want to talk a little bit about Adobe Photoshop on the iPad. Now, you, if you guys watched any of the previous videos I've done, you know that I have a very bold opinion about Photoshop. I feel like they're overpriced, unfortunately, even though the software is amazing. And sure, it's probably worth every penny, but not all of us can afford that penny. And uh, I just, I, I had to step away from it. So now I'm using Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, uh, and I do all of my drawings in Clip Studio, and I try to work between those three programs uh, in comparison to using Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and uh, Adobe Premiere. Oh, and then, of course, for my editing, I'm also using DaVinci Resolve, which is an amazing software. So what I want to talk with you about today, though, is Adobe has released a new app, and it's, uh, it's, it's Photoshop. And it's, I think it's going to be an interesting software, but once again, I, you have to pay a monthly for it. And I'm not sure how much you have to pay. One thing I do know is that uh, I have a membership with them because of my day job. Uh, and I don't usually use that here at home. But if in this circumstance, I want to look over this app with you. Um, first impressions, I really haven't gotten to mess with it much at all. But I want to look at it in first impressions as an artist and see if it has some of the features that, say, Clip Studio Paint Pro has, which is the software I use every day, or Procreate has. Um, I'm very interested to see about how much it compares to the original Photoshop that you have on your PC, and I figure I may as well just record this first opinion of this uh, and jump right into it and just see what happens. Hopefully it's not going to be a boring video. I hope you like it. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and I've been looking through my analytics and I've been seeing that a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribers, and it would mean a lot to me if you would consider subscribing. We do videos uh, all the time on drawing caricatures, cartoon, illustration, logo design, a whole bunch of crazy stuff, not to mention my Patreon page. If you become a Patreon supporter, I do vlogs for my patrons, answering some pretty crazy questions with some rather intriguing answers. I just put up a vlog saying how to beat um, how to beat artists block and the answer to that I can see a lot of people not liking the answer to it. Anyway that's on my Patreon account and you can find that in the link below. Alright so let's go ahead and switch over to my iPad here. I have my iPad hooked up through an Apple TV going into one of my capture cards to be able to put this into my computer like this. I think it's working pretty well actually. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and see first impressions about how I feel about it. Now like I said first impressions this is not a review per se this is just giving it a first look and kind of comparing it again, uh, comparison, giving it a comparison against uh, uh, Procreate and Clip Studio Paint Pro, all right? And against the original Photoshop that's in the PC. So let's go ahead and open it up here. And we enter into the screen that they always have. And, you know, truth be told, some of these are just so obnoxious to me. I don't need an intro screen of how to do stuff. I'd rather learn it on my own, quite honestly. So let's see. Make your photo shine. Learn what's possible. Start, you, start with your image. Select a photo. Suggest what's next in Photoshop. Okay, so now we need to remember that Photoshop started out first and foremost as a photo editing software and still remains a photo editing software. But artists have turned and used it for artistic purposes. So when it has been created, it's not exactly been created with artists in mind nearly as much as it has been uh, created for um, retouchers in mind. So let's go ahead and create a new document um, default Photoshop size 7 by 5 inches at 300 deep, uh, ppi, which is not bad. I'm, I'm okay with that. That's a good size canvas. Uh, let's just go ahead and create it with a white background, 8-bit uh, RGB. Let's go ahead and open it right up. Definitely feels more compact than the normal Photoshop. Everything small icons. Let me get out my pen out of the back of my tablet here. Just small icons here. Uh, not sure what this box is randomly here on the side. Uh, okay, good. My pen is working. Let's see what some of these features are. Obviously, we got like a pen tool. Uh, looks like a like a shaping tool of some sort. Let's cancel that. Uh, so a selection tool. That's good. Um, paintbrush. Okay, let's just jump right to the paintbrush because I don't want to look through this thing like crazy. Let's just give it my honest quick opinion all right so drawing with the first line here what is going on here look at this you see this right here that's doing something weird i did not try to create that line that's going from that thick to thin right there i mean like right here as well i didn't do that 
that's a very odd pressuring. How do I go back? How do I undo? Okay, there's an undo button up here. Let me try this again. Yeesh. Okay, so this right here is annoying me ever so slightly. Uh, even here. Did it put like a little dot? Look at this little dot right here. So now I'm, I'm, I look at this from the aspect of drawing and getting the cleanest lines possible. Clip Studio Paint Pro and Procreate are amazing at getting truly clean lines. Let's see if there's any way to make the quality of this a little better. Smoothing. Let's see what happens if we turn smoothing up. Use pressure for size and use pressure for opacity. I'd like to turn those on, but okay, one turned on. Use pressure for opacity. The other one's not turning on, but I'm already getting pressure for size. So why am I ha why is that not like pre-selected anyway? Okay, so definitely have that. I detest what it's doing right now with this pen. What on earth is going on? I do not like the shaping of this brush. Now this is only one brush, but I don't like it. I mean, look at this right there. And, and there, it, it's not a good brush. So um, one of the things that I think really hurts people is when you, um, you open up software for the first time and you try out the defaults and they stink. And that is immediately a turnoff for anyone who's an artist because we just want to jump in and start drawing. We don't want to have to relearn a whole new system. This should not have to be a, a challenging thing to have to relearn. A good software, a good user interface should be fairly understandable on the get-go. And, and just keep it simple as much as possible. Already this doesn't look like Photoshop. One of the things I love about Clip Studio, which I know a few other people hate, is that Clip Studio Paint Pro on the iPad and Clip Studio Paint Pro on the computer look like the exact same software. I don't feel like I'm learning a brand new software, or I don't feel like I'm stepping into a light version of it. And here in this Photoshop app, it immediately feels like that. I'd rather it just be the same Photoshop interface I'm used to. And I don't know if there's a way to change this to become that. Right now, it just feels gimmicky. Let's see what else we have here. So we can select colors. Okay, that's fine. Is this size? I'm guessing this is size of the brush. Yeah, it is. That's definitely not keeping up with my pen either. So very CPU intensive, apparently. Unless my flow turned on as high as it is, is causing a trouble. How did I get there? Oh, this button. There we go. Let me turn the smoothing all the way down and see if that helps it. Yeah, okay, that's following a little better along, but take a look at what it's doing with this line. Even though I'm drawing fast, look at the edging that it's doing along here. Not a fan of that. Um, let's try a different brush. Uh, there's different brushes here. Hard round, soft round. Okay, brush pen. Ah, uh, why'd you go and do that? Make me a brush pen that's vector. Don't do this weird reshaping of stuff or, or texturing. I don't need that. Make me one that can be like a solid point brush. People are trying too hard to make things ultra realistic, and that's not what I want. I don't want ultra realistic. I want digital. <laughs> me personally, in the kind of way that I do caricatures, I want digital. Digital. Digital? Digital. Wow. And when I first started drawing caricatures, Photoshop was the only choice I really had. Uh, back when I first started, I think, in Photoshop CS3, I think. I think a lot of artists started out in CS2 or CS3, uh, or before. I mean, truth be told, I was drawing before any of the original stuff was coming out. Saving to your cloud document, Adobe's cloud for you. Oh, lovely. So this means it's saving onto my work stuff right now, which is not what I want to have happen because that's my day job at the radio station. That's not what I want. All right, so needless to say, I'm not a fan so far. Um, oh, good, you can double tap to undo. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Un un double tapping to undo is a pretty standard thing between apps, so having that is nice. I do like that. Uh, I did that naturally because I'm used to doing that in other apps. Um, layers, how does layers turn out? Okay, that's a layer? Okay. Okay, that's more natural for, to me. What is this? I don't know why that's pulled up there. Blending options. See, and I prefer that just to be on the layers panel and not separate as its own option. Let's see what this is. 
Am I creating new layers? Okay, creating new layers. Can I click and drag them? It doesn't seem like I can. It's not letting me. I can tap it, but I can't move it. Why can't I move layers? Can I move layers here? Okay. So why can I move them here, but I can't move them here? What's the point of this? Just to select a layer individually, I could do the same thing here. Not a fan. Okay, what else? And it's going to toggle on and off the layer, apparently. Well, why don't you have that here? You do. So why is that there? Masking. So that's going to turn on and off a mask. Okay, so that put it here. Why isn't the selection for masking here? It doesn't feel like original Photoshop. It doesn't. It feels gimmicky. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Um, and it's not just because they charge so much per month. I, I need it to feel like the software that I've been using for the last 10 years. Why would you make a whole new interface for iPad when you have an interface that everyone is used to on the PC? Why not use the same one? Anyway, um, look, I don't know what to... Let me just try drawing something and let's see what happens. Let's start with... Um... See, the problem I have with drawing apps, and I've said this before in other vi videos, is that drawing apps try to replicate reality. And I don't need to replicate reality. That's not the intention that I'm trying to do in my work. Now, you might be. Um, but what I'm attempting to do more so is... is Man, I hate that. It is not reading the pen well. I do not like that. Uh, what... what it makes me just not want to draw in it. <laughs> uh, what's this? Opacity? Yeah, okay, that's definitely opacity. And what's this one? Oh, hardness. Okay, that's cool. That's an, that's an okay board. I don't mind that so much. But um, let's, just, let's just draw something. I, I don't like... I don't like that. Let's see here. Let me turn on my smoothing at about 50%. Use pressure for size. And now I can't turn off pressure for opacity, so I don't know. Okay. See, it doesn't feel natural. You know what this feels like? You know what this reminds me of? When I first started using... Oh, I hate that. Uh, can I turn that? Let me just try and turn this off and see if that helps. It's like when I first started using... Wow. I do not like this. I am having the hardest time sketching with this. Let me try a different brush. Let's try a hard round and then go into my settings and tell pressure for size. Okay, that feels more natural. Let me do pressure for opacity as well. Okay, that's a little better. Can I do some smoothing to this? This is not keeping up with me at all. Now, it could be the size of the canvas, but this is the default canvas with Photoshop. Now, my iPad's a little older, but I can draw just fine. I've drawn thousands of dollars out of this at a Clip Studio and at a Procreate. So, I don't... No, I... I don't like it. I don't like it. Can I create a brush? That would work better for me. And is this drawing because of my hand drawing here? Okay. So obviously it's drawing because my finger is here. See, that's drawn with the finger. And you can see there's no pressure sensitivity there. So right away, I want to turn off anything like that. So where do we find settings? Is that settings? No, that's blending options. If I come back here to the home screen, here's a settings button. Input. Touch indicator. Touch shortcut, stylus double tap, stylus only painting. Let's turn that on. So it's doing something now. I mean, I obviously want it to have touch. It won't rotate. It's not rotating. Why, why won't it rotate? I mean, this is a natural thing with this. Why would you make an app that is not all this app needs to be? I mean, nothing. It doesn't rotate, period. Not rotating. Let's see if three fingers does anything. No. Four fingers. 
which usually would be save. If you did four fingers, that would save your document. And nothing's happening with four fingers. Nice that it reads all five fingers very accurately, which is pretty cool, but it's not rotating. So far, guys, I'm very unimpressed. The more I mess with this software, the the less quality it feels. Now, this is like their first generation iPad app, but I think they've done themselves a major disservice by not making this in every way like it is on the computer. Make the user interface the same. Make everything the same. I get why people would want smaller stuff here so it's not cluttering up the iPad screen, but I can't rotate my canvas uh, this is ridiculous i'm i'm unimpressed i don't understand how softwares or hardwares i mean if we think about any company that makes any kind of device where they've created a second or a third or a fourth generation like my camera uh, like my cameras or anything that i use to record with why companies aren't listening to the general everyday joe saying hey make sure that you do things that I'm going to need. They've released this software and it's truly not finished. It's first generation stinks in my opinion. I'm unimpressed and I've barely even started looking at it. In my opinion, just go get Clip Studio and you'll pay a lot less per month. I think it's like $4.99 or $7 or $8.99 a month to have it. And you can draw amazing stuff in it and it works great. Now I haven't done this for photo editing, but I can tell you if I don't like how my stylus feels and especially how it inks, because it inks terribly, why am I going to like using it for editing photos? I, I'm just not a fan. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know what to say extra to that. I really don't. I'm. My first impressions are not good. Are not good. Uh, what on earth is going on with this line right here? That should not be that way. What's going on with this right here? I mean the line quality stink this should all work smoothly and it doesn't i don't even need to look at this anymore not to like it i mean it took no time at all to figure out that this is a stinky program at least for an artist's side of things now you might like it and that's great maybe you have a newer generation and maybe it runs better with a newer generation than my ipad does but grr i mean i want to like adobe even though they charge so much for their service I want to like it, and I can't. I can't. Man. Well, that'll do it for this video. I'm sorry. Very negative video on, on this situation here, but I do hope that it helps you decide what software to go with. I strongly suggest Clip Studio, and they're not sponsoring me. I wish they were. Uh, and, of course, the other option is... Um, uh, Procreate, and I love Procreate. It's an awesome software. You should definitely get Procreate. Um, and you know what? Maybe we should check out Autodesk Sketchbook Pro again and see what that is and see if they've done any upgrades to that. Maybe that's what we'll do in some future videos. Uh, questions down below, guys. Would love to know your thoughts uh, and your opinions if you've gotten to mess with it, how you feel about it. And then finally, right down here below, you'll see that we have a live Patreon class coming up November 23rd. Anyone who supports me at the $10 tier uh, gets to be part of my monthly class. Our first one scheduled is November 23rd uh, from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time, and it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm going to prep a class for you and teach you guys all about the world of caricature and cartoon. It's going to be a ton of fun for two whole hours, and then we'll schedule up the next one for the following month in December. And my goal is just to do one every single month, uh, and you only need to support me for one video because we do um, uh, per creation uh, shares, uh, per creation support. That means that my patrons are going to support me for making this video right now. Uh, you need to set a limit for how many donations you want to make a month, and you can easily do that in the Patreon system. So support at the $10 tier and just set it to support once a month. And you'll only pay $10, and you can be a part of the two-hour class. It'll be awesome. You'll love it. And thank you so much for checking this out, because um, it means a lot to me that you would get involved in the class and, and learn, uh, learn in a live class situation. I'm very excited to spend time with you guys, and I do hope that you check it out. Link is in the description below, and uh, once you get registered in, I'll add your name to the list, and we want you there. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time. I am so sorry that was such a negative video for this app. It's just it's a fail. Uh, in my opinion, a fail. Maybe newer generations later on, but I'm uh, no go, Adobe. No go.